In this uh, 2000 milliliter beaker, it's a two liter beaker, I have a magnetic bar coated with Teflon sitting on the platform of a magnetic motor. I'm going to take three clear and colorless liquids and mix them together. Here's the first one, uh, as it was before, but here's a clear and colorless liquid. And let's then add the third liquid and see what happens. And we see uh, two color changes uh, that uh, went from yellow to blue. Let's increase the rate of mixing a little bit here. You can see some um, bubbles in there. Those are uh, oxygen bubbles, uh, also some carbon dioxide bubbles. The overall reaction here is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, uh, but there are other chemicals in there. Uh, of course, there's water in there, there's manganese sulfate, potassium iodate, sulfuric acid is in there, potato starch is in there. The yellow color that just disappeared is the color of iodine, and the blue color is the color of iodine with potato starch. And these oscillations will continue until we run out of one of the uh, reagents. This is an example of what is called a chemical oscillating reaction. Uh, it is one of about 50 known such reactions, but this one is very special to me. It's special for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is that it was discovered by two high school teachers, and it's named after them. It's called the Briggs-Rauscher reaction. Briggs and Rauscher taught high school chemistry and physics in Northern California. And in 1973, they published a paper in the Journal of Chemical Education describing this beautiful and captivating behavior. The second reason it's special to me is that it took researchers, high-powered researchers, members of the National Academy of Sciences, it took them nine years to figure out what's going on in this very beautiful system. So when we do experiments, when we engage in scientific research, we have to be patient. We have to be paying close attention to the, to the transformations that are taking place. We have to enjoy what's going on. And we have to learn how to deal with frustration uh, until we get enough information about the chemical transformations that we are enjoying. Now that we know what's going on in this system, uh, we can control the conditions and, con and, and, uh, and produce this very nice and attractive uh, transformation of, uh, of color.